that's it? That's all they did? Oh man, that's not cool. Seriously, that is not cool. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for TV shows that had to have scenes removed, have changes made, or were outright barred from airing. Oh my god. Now I've seen everything. Number 10, Pokemon, Electric Soldier Porygon. When Team Rocket is found to be stealing Pokeballs through the transfer system, it's up to Ash, Brock, and Misty to stop them. <laughs> the group gets sent into a computer system where they discover Jesse and James have created a blockage to trap Pokeballs in the system. A few Pokemon battles ensue before Team Rocket is foiled once again. Unfortunately, a sequence where Pikachu uses a Thunderbolt attack to destroy incoming missiles caused several hundred viewers to experience nausea, dizziness, headaches, or even seizures. This was due to a flashing pattern of red and blue light used in the animation. The show was put on hiatus for four months and the episode has not been aired since. Number 9. Tiny Toon Adventures – Elephant Issues It shouldn't be too surprising that an episode dealing with serious social issues would cause some controversy. In the segment One Beer, Buster, Pluck, and Hampton learn about the dangers of drinking alcohol. What are you thinking, Buster? Let's drink it. Drink it? But Buster, this isn't like you. I know, but in this episode, we're showing the evils of alcohol. After having a beer, their speech becomes slurred and they lose their balance. The trio decides to steal a police car and they drive around town recklessly. Hey, I got an idea. This is more like it. They eventually drive off a cliff where the whole adventure is revealed to be a morality play. I hope the kids got the message. Yeah, drinking's uncool. So do we get to do a funny episode tomorrow? I hope so. Even though the events were framed in a negative light, it was still too much, and the episode was pulled from airing in syndication. Number 8. Seinfeld – Puerto Rican Day when returning home early from a New York Mets game, Jerry, Elaine, George, and Kramer get stuck in traffic caused by the annual Puerto Rican Day Parade. What's with all these flags? Oh, no. It's, it's the, the Puerto, Puerto Rican, Rican Day, Day Parade! Oh, oh, this city shuts down Fifth Avenue. They never let anyone through. We're never getting home. The group decides to split up as each of the characters do their own thing. Kramer gets into the festivities of the event and has a Puerto Rican flag draped over himself. I'm into this Puerto Rican day. The sight, the sound, the hot, spicy flavor of it all. It's caliente! <laughs> he uses a sparkler to light a cigar and when throwing it away, it lands on the flag, setting it on fire. He then stomps on it to put it out. Feel <laughs> smell! Hey! There's a guy burning the Puerto Rican flag! Who? Who is burning the flag? <laughs> Obviously, this act didn't sit well with many in the Puerto Rican community, who would send NBC angry letters and would protest outside Rockefeller Center. The episode was pulled from syndication until 2002. Number 7. Degrassi The Next Generation – Accidents Will Happen This Canadian teen drama is known for going there, but Noggin was none too pleased with where this two-part story went. Manny discovers that her period is late. Like, really late. 50 bucks to anyone who could give me a tampon right now. What happened? I can't believe no one noticed. I just did a front walkover that belongs in a horror movie. Forgot to stock up. Oh, here. Uh, I haven't used mine in forever. Really? She's also been experiencing sickness recently, leading her to thinking she might be pregnant. She takes a test and it confirms her worst fears. I have a doctor's appointment to make sure. But I took this test and I'm pretty sure I'm pregnant. When she tells Craig the news, he's supportive of the idea of the two of them having a family. She soon realizes she's not ready to have a kid at this stage of her life and ultimately decides to have an abortion. How will I feel after? Everybody feels differently. Lots of women cry a little. Many feel relieved. 
As long as you're sure of your decision, then I'll be okay. Due to the topic of abortion being discussed, Noggin decided against airing the episode during the third season. It wouldn't be aired until 2006. Number six, The Office, Dwight Christmas. The workers of Dunder Mifflin realized they forgot to plan the annual Christmas party. Oh, hey guys, the Christmas party is today. Merry Christmas, everyone. No. Is it? I mean, it says Xmas party, but I think we all know what that's code for. So we're not gonna have a Christmas party this year? Angela, how could you do this to us? The party planning committee decides to go with Dwight's idea of his family's Pennsylvania Dutch tradition of celebrating the holiday after being convinced by Pam. Um, the party planning committee minus Angela has decided that we're all going to do Dwight's Christmas. Yes! When Dwight dresses up as Bell's nickel, the rest of the office believes he's making the whole thing up until Oscar looks the character up online. His partner, Shvate Pete, or Black Peter, a slave boy, often portrayed in colorful pantaloons and blackface. Uh-uh. No, Dwight. No. Oh, come on. We don't blindly stick to every outmoded aspect of our traditions. He also learns of Zwarte Pete, a slave assistant. A brief scene of Nate dressed as Zwarte Pete was cut from the episode by Netflix in response to the George Floyd protests of 2020. Number five, The Simpsons, Stark Raving Dad. Celebrity guest spots are familiar occurrences given that the show has been airing for over 30 years. However, back in the third season, that was not the case. I can't believe you never heard of me. I'm a very popular entertainer. Oh, of course I've heard of you. I mean, you'd have to be living under a rock not to know. What'd you say your name was? Michael Jackson. Doesn't ring a bell. In fact, when Michael Jackson was featured in the episode Stark Raving Dad, he's credited under a pseudonym. Hello? Who is this? I'm Bart Simpson. Who the hell are you? I'm Michael Jackson. The Michael Jackson? Pfft, no way. It's true. I'm with your father in a mental institution. Uh-huh. And is Elvis with you? He could be. It's a big hospital. Not much had been made about the episode until after the airing of the documentary Leaving Neverland, where Jackson's legacy was reevaluated in the public discourse. As a result, the episode was pulled from streaming service Disney Plus and from DVD prints published after 2019. <laughs> Number four, Community, Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. The study group decides to play a game of Dungeons and Dragons with Neil after the group feels bad that the wider Greendale community has been mocking Neil for his weight. They would invite Neil that Saturday to a game of Dungeons and Dragons designed by Obed to help Neil reclaim his confidence. For Neil. At the end of the meeting, they realized that Chang had been there and felt too awkward to mention it. They decide not to invite Pierce because they're certain he will use the opportunity to disparage Neil. With Abed as the dungeon master, they all set forth on a journey to slay the dragon Draconis. You were all standing on a country road. Legend has it the evil dragon Draconis dwells nearby guarding a massive pile of treasure. Working as a team, your goal is to track down the dragon, kill him, and then claim the treasure as your own. However, if you try to watch the episode on Netflix or Hulu, you might have a hard time since it's been removed due to Chang being dressed as a dark elf, which some view as being akin to blackface. Show creator Dane Harmon thought the removal was justified but that it's the series' best episode. Oh, no, 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 I didn't mean that. Guys, we've got to do something about these gnomes. Um, We're gonna ask the stupid gnome where we can get a Pegasus. Did someone say Pegasus? A word I understand in every language. Number three, Family Guy, partial terms of endearment. Controversy is nothing new for Peter Griffin and co, but this episode remains too much for Fox to air. Lois is approached by a married couple, Naomi and Dale, to act as a surrogate as they can't conceive a child on their own. We were wondering if you would be our surrogate. Oh my god, you want me to carry your child? Yes. She agrees to the request and becomes pregnant by in vitro fertilization. Tragically, Naomi and Dale die in a car crash, leaving Lois to grapple with whether or not she should still carry her pregnancy to term. Well, there's no harm in visiting the family planning center just to see what your options are. It's such a big decision. Of course it's a big decision. Life is full of big decisions. The episode was supposed to be part of the eighth season, but Fox raised concerns due to the topic of abortion being central to the plot. Peter, I'm sorry if you disagree with me, but according to the law, it is still my right to choose what I do with my body. Well, the law is wrong, Lois. The episode was released on DVD and aired on BBC Three in the UK. Number two, Friends, the one with the lesbian wedding. 
Ross's ex-wife Carol announces that she'll be getting married to her partner Susan and invites Ross to their wedding. We're getting married. <laughs> As in, I now pronounce you wife and wife married? Anyway, we'd like you to come, but we totally understand if you don't want to. While he's initially hostile to the whole event, he eventually comes around and joins them for the ceremony. The episode was one of the earliest portrayals of a lesbian wedding on TV, and NBC feared a huge backlash. You know, nothing makes God happier than when two people, any two people, come together in love. Friends, family, we're gathered here today to join Carol and Susan in holy matrimony. Two affiliate stations, one in Texas and one in Ohio, refused to air it. Despite this, it garnered 31.6 million viewers, making it the highest rated episode that week. Even though the network was expecting tons of complaints, they only received four. She's gone. She's gone. She's gone. Go ahead, get married. Go, go. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. South Park – Depictions of Muhammad The show had previously shown Muhammad without issue back in the Season 5 episode, Super Best Friends. Budo, we may have a problem. I've just encountered a magic I've never seen before. I've got everyone together. Come as fast as you can. When creators Matt Stone and Trey Parker wanted to show the religious figure again in a critique of Family Guy in season 10, they discovered the network Comedy Central wouldn't permit them to do so. Coming, Muhammad. They revisited the issue once again in 201, where Tom Cruise and others want to harness Muhammad's powers of censorship to avoid ridicule. Again, showing the Islamic prophet was prohibited. I learned something today. Throughout this whole ordeal, we've all wanted to show things that we weren't allowed to show. But it wasn't because of some magic goo. It was because of the magical power of threatening people with violence. All the episodes featuring Muhammad would later be pulled from HBO's Max streaming service. Would you censor any TV shows? Let us know in the comments. Oh, hi. As the Fox censor, it's my job to protect you from reality. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.